Howdy, my name is David. I'm a Coke Play Frontier from the Genesis Group. Guys, I just want to give everybody a quick market update. Uh, right now, if you look at Bitcoin, it is on a falling wedge pattern. And I don't know, maybe it's like you have over 60% chance, okay, uh, that it's going to break to the upside. However, if it does break up, you know, um, this chart is by Optical Arts. And probably it's not going to really go past, you know, 40,000, uh, you know, or 41,000, okay? You might have a little wick that goes above it. So, like, if you see here, you see that white line, you know, I mean, it's strong resistance. You get, you have some wicks that can form above it, but eventually it gets pulled and it gets dragged down. And so, yeah, you can move up 40 thousand maybe you might you'll get a wig maybe you'll get a wig to forty one thousand maybe a little above that but eventually i think it'll just drag it down now <clears throat> you still have a little over a 30 percent chance that it can break down to the downside if it does break down to the downside uh and if, if it goes down pretty hard you'll have you know and it, it, this is if you're a swing trader you know you could go it could go down to around thirty four thousand 300 ish uh, around there and then probably you'll get a bounce if it breaks down underneath that you have 32,000 around 32,300 all right and here once again that white line okay uh, you'll probably have really strong resistance and it'll probably break down from there but you see this yellow line it has been and you obviously you see wicks but eventually it you know is good support and it bounces off so you have around th you know let's say if it does break down maybe you, you, you'll get support around uh around thirty seven thousand, and you might get a wick above underneath but if it does just break down thirty seven thousand, you know your next support will be around thirty four thousand four hundred or three hundred break underneath that 33,300 around that price range, okay? Uh, do I, you know, remember that we're in May and you check all <laughs> my recent videos, I do believe that, you know, Bitcoin is in between this or in July, you're going to see Bitcoin go around 33,000, I mean 30,000, okay? Um, and further down, it could be, it, it can go down even further more, you know, and maybe in July, you, you might see Bitcoin go down to closing 20,000, maybe go under 20,000. I don't know. Okay. But it's just this month, next month, you know, July, just, I see the trend just going down. Uh, now th this is other charts, um, that really doesn't have much to do with Bitcoin. But anyway, let's look over here, okay? 2014, this is by um, Steve from Crypto Crew University. The other charts that you see in the beginning was from Optical Arts. Right here, Golden Zone, right? You had a peak, 2000, you know, you had a peak there. 2014, it went down into the golden zone. You see the Gaussian channel. Uh, Bitcoin went well underneath the Gaussian channel into the golden zone. It happened in 2018 from the 2017 peak. Deep into the golden zone, you see the Gaussian channel is red. Now, this is a special case, but, you know, from COVID, the COVID crash. Uh, and... Anyway, what you did see is here you see a break above the God CM channel and then it got sucked in. It looked like it was going to break above, but eventually it went into the golden zone, right? And then you had our bull run. It got sucked into the Gaussian channel. If you saw my videos back when it was in the Gaussian channel, I was like, look, Bitcoin's going down. And Bitcoin's going down. But it did manage to move up, but I, look, something like that almost happened here, but eventually got pulled down. Um, yeah, you know, Bitcoin respects the Gaussian channel.
okay and so yeah okay this time it did manage to pull out you know it got over on me on that one but we're back in the gazine channel we're on the lower end and we haven't really printed any strong candles in the golden zone to buy i mean you had some wicks go in but i'm you know and you look at the gossip channel it already turned red it turned red before you see any strong candles in the gossip channel and well when we see that like here this time it did take some time but when it went in it went in the gossip channel boom Okay, uh, it turned red, but when it went into the Gaussian channel, it really went in the Gaussian channel. And so, you know, it's not like as soon as it turns, the Gaussian channel turns red, it goes boom into the golden zone. But yeah, you know, sometime this month, June, July, yeah, it's going to, I see candles just, just go deep in the the golden zone and that those price ranges are around 20 17 14 thousand dollars and that's just what i see you know um so i am completely out the market but you know if you see bitcoin go up to forty thousand, don't get your feeling or you know it could go up to a little past forty one thousand, whatever you get a wig don't get your feelings hurt if it gets smashed down Remember, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I am telling you what I'm doing, and I'm giving you reasons why. And I'm, you know, I'm telling you from past history. All right. Um, this right here. Oh, man, I forgot who I got this from. But anyway, this is like reset, you know, this kind of little things that people look at for recessions. And so if you look at the 1990s recession, before that, what happens, you see the interest rates. They pumped up the interest rates. They couldn't hold the interest rates up any longer. When the interest rates fell over, you had a recession. Okay, And that was like around 10% from, you know, under 7.5%. Well, let's look here. You know... Under 5% and it went above to almost 7 point around, well, let's say 7% or something. It, they couldn't hold the interest rates up anymore. They fell over and boom, you had a recession. Um, whatever. Same thing here. Same thing here. And this time, this was, you know, with Trump the former president they went up to about 2.5 notice the interest rates always get smaller guys here a lower a higher low another higher low and then another higher low and so right now what you're seeing is that little bump you see is you know that 25 basis point so anyway you notice that it peaks out lower and lower every time. So if last time it was around like, was it 2.5%, you might see the interest rates, you know, the Fed keep hiking it up. Maybe, I don't know, like around 1.5 to 2%, if even that, to 2%. And then they'll notice they can't, you know, um, push it up any higher that they need to lower the interest rates. And then you, you that's when you'll probably, you'll see that recession coming. Okay, uh, and so, you know, just keep that in mind, all right? Keep that in mind, and, you know, how long it takes is always different, but just keep that in mind. Um, so, I know this quarter, America's uh, everything, it, it contract. I think the GDP contracted 1 point something, 4 point 1.2, 1.4%. 1 I don't know what's going to happen. The second quarter, who knows, they might print more money. Who knows what's going on, okay? Um, but anyway, just keep that in mind about the recession. But you might have, we might have a recession next, after the second quarter. Who knows? Um, and so there you have it, all right? And as always, everyone in the Coke family, stay safe, take good care of yourself, uh, stay healthy, surround yourself around the right people, be spiritually 
take yourself take care of yourself spiritually mentally you know um and, and form a good community and and prepare for worse times okay better safe than sorry better safe than sorry and of course pray for the ukrainian russian citizens and other places where you have wars but it just doesn't get mainstream news attention okay so yeah all of you i'm praying for y'all in jesus name god bless y'all coke on